Wish you all dear friends that you may aware of your guardian angels all the time. Dear friends, few weeks before, one of the provincial who shared her spiritual sentiments with me. With her permission, I am sharing with you all. Before meeting any sister or person or addressing the group, she always speak to the guardian angels of that concerning persons. We all of us have to emulate this good habit of her. Friends, our Lord himself said in the book of Exodus chapter 23 verse 20, See, I am sending an angel ahead of you to guard you along the way. Friends, let these words of our Lord always ring in your ears. This is my first wish for you today. Friends, some years back, I was in crisis. At that time, my eldest sibling, who is a nun, advised me to speak with the guardian angel of my opponent. The other day, my angelic sister, one who is assisting me by her prayers, asked me to do the same. To add strength to these above statements, I quote the saying of St. Bernard of Clairvaux. He said, These celestial spirits have been placed at our side to protect, instruct and guard us. Based on St. Bernard's saying, our Catholic Catechism says, Already here on earth, the Christian life shares by faith in the blessed company of angels and men united in God. Saint Basil threw more light on this. He says that each member has a guardian angel to protect, guide throughout our life. Friends, these angels accompany us throughout our lives as they accompanied Jesus on his journey on earth. Our guardian angels are prompting us to encounter with our Lord in love, prompting us to cherish one another's life and dignity. This very fact, we should fill our hearts with gratitude and joy. Our Pope Francis calls it integral human ecology. 13th century Saint, Saint Francis of Assisi too, spoken about integral human ecology. Dear friends, let us rejoice with Psalmist he says with gratitude and joy in Psalm chapter 8 verse 5, We are made little less than the angels. Chapter 91 verse 1, We are living in the shelter of the Most High. Verse 11 says, He will command his angels concerning us to guard and protect all our ways. Friends, if we wish to be the beneficiary of above, God is asking us to be attentive to him, to heed his voice and carry out all he tells us through him. First, let us aware of our guardian angel's presence. Second, recognize him and feel that we are not alone even though we cannot perceive with our five senses. Dear friends, our guardian angels are our beacon of hope. Let us be friends with this 
beacon of hope in our lives. Have a graceful day friends.